Good evening, Joe Brabender, Operations Section Chief for the Chickadee Fire. We can go into that. We just continued to uh, to work the edges of this fire. There again, we've got uh, we've got line completely around it. We did have some spots today um, about this area up, up in here. Uh, this was not actually the the fire's edge. It was actually a, like a half acre spot down next to the creek. We got guys on it. We had another spot in here, and then we had two more spots down in this country here. Um, good thing they didn't happen at the same time because we were able to move resources from the north after we got the line around that and got some hose lays around that, uh, moved some resources uh, down around to the south and got on those, those uh, other two spots. All in all, a pretty good day. Nothing's uh, really threatening uh, the outside. There's just a lot of heat on the edges just because of the heavy timber, and we'll con expect to have continued spots for the next several days. Thank you. Hi, Daniel LaMere, um, Walker Operations Trainee. Uh, so today, a uh, good day on Walker Fire. Um, these structures through here off Summer Road, um, everything went well last night. We were able to prep around them, burn around them. Um, we continue to mop up down this road coming towards Highway 20. We were able to tie in down at the bottom towards Bonaparte Lake Road. Um, we brought fire down, got that all nice and secure. They'll be mopping up on that for the next couple hours, uh, waiting for a night shift to come in. Uh, from there, uh, they took a line, improved this line going over to the spot fire in here, and then continued the line coming up to the main walker fire. Uh, taking a lot of work in there, There's a lot of heavy down uh, debris. Uh, trying to secure that. We are picking up spots to the east out in here and then also east out in here. They're they're getting around them but uh, it's starting to pick up more and more um, strapped for resources. Uh, for now they're holding their own but uh, if we the wind component changes tomorrow we're we're gonna be high in gear trying to pick those up. Uh, so from here going down to the division break right in here we have a dozer line. It's not quite direct uh, going straight down to the division break. Um, they're finishing that up as I left about an hour ago. Uh, the intent of that tomorrow, we're hoping to beef up on some resources and burn this off in here. Get a good solid black down here. This is going to be a critical holding point for us tomorrow. We don't want the wind and pushing the fire up into here. Um, we don't have many access points once we get out further to the northeast. Um, so we want to hold that fire where it's at, and we're going to concentrate heavily on that. And then also, secondary, we're going to also be concentrating down in here holding this. Uh, we don't want that fire to push east. Um, so with the wind, it's not in our favor, but um, we'll beef up the best we can on resources and uh, hold that fire in check the best we can. Hey, good evening. Don Hammock, uh, Operations uh, Section Chief for the uh, Spur Fire. So we'll start out uh, up here in Division Hotel. So Hotel is still working our contingency line up here, that 33 road, uh, all the way around back to the Bonaparte Road. Um, and then up on the top from uh, Lost Lake, we're working that uh, 33 road all the way to the uh, Division Break uh, with Quebec. Uh, that's our secondary line. And then we're also doing going direct as much as we can on the fire's edge as uh, ground and uh, fire behavior dictate until we have to bounce out to this road system here that kind of Quebec has uh, opened up uh, right here. That's kind of where we're trying to meet on that division boundary with those resources. So we got our uh, primary uh, direct line. Then we're working on our secondary line coming out here on the 33 road. Uh, for Division Hotel, and like Danny said, uh, we're working some stuff uh, coordinating with uh, Division Foxtrot to try to get this tied together so we don't have that southwest push to the northeast uh, with the predicted uh, weather. Uh, this little uh, donut here, we're still doing uh, structure protection. Uh, we, st we got residents in there and the fire just keeps wanting to spot in there, so that's taking some of our time. And then down by the campground, we still got those structures on the west side of the lake uh, that we burned around last night. Uh, they held throughout night shift. 
which was looking good. And then we uh, moving into uh, Division Tango. So Tango kind of picks up uh, down here, and they're actually working from the Bonaparte Road. They've got uh, line, those are line and hand line punched up to the 50 road, and the 3220 road is well, our next containment line is on the southern edge. Uh, we're picking up a lot of spots most of the day. We've been chasing them to the west uh, with this uh, kind of uh, major activity that we had last night. Uh, there's a bunch of old piles in there, and it's just decadent, thick stuff in there. Uh, we're picking them up. First one was 20 acres, and then the last one was a couple acres, and that one just spotted a little bit. So we've got a couple of crews in there, some dozers, uh, trying to pick that up and get it uh, blocked off or locked in on this west side. So that's going to be a big task uh, for night shift uh, tonight. So and as far as... Uh, so that's Tango, then Quebec. Quebec's out here, if you scroll up a little bit. Uh, they're tied into the division break. Uh, working down that 33 road, uh, looking big picture, um, coming around uh, and tie into uh, division Tango on that 3220 road. So they've got dozers in there. Um, we're hoping to get them uh, some more heavy equipment as it, as it sort of shows up in the next few days to kind of work on that. Oh, there we go. So they're tied in. Uh, up here and so they're gonna bounce out this is a uh, no man's land kind of in here with uh, a roadless area so they're gonna come out hit that uh, 33 road and take it like say down to the 32 30 road so um, other than that uh, in the report for the spur